thing I wanted to show, this is the top floor, uh, this is one of the original conversions from 1995 and it's 75,000 BTUs and I wanted to explain you know, what was done here. Originally this would have had 40,000 on the top floor which would have been way too small but there's no direct vents which are 75,000 so they had to use a regular natural vent which you can see right there but to get the natural vent to work inside of the confined space closet they have uh, a horizontal exhaust kit which is this fan right here and uh, and so it makes it makes a suction on the exhaust and then blows that outside and then since it's still a confined closet and you're not supposed to use this makes it into a power vent but you're supposed to use only direct vent in a confined space and uh, what they have is a makeup air which is this box right here so when the gas valve turns on it'll turn on the exhaust fan and it turns on the makeup fan and the makeup fan just draws air from right here and then puts it into the room so I'll demonstrate right now this is a water heater is leaking I want to show how it works so the flame turned on now you can hear the makeup air is on. You can actually see it's blowing air down there. But that's all uh, cold air. It's not that good of an idea to do that in these closets because now you're going to have cold air blowing in the closet. And now we have the exhaust right here, which is running and it's exhausting out exhaust air. And then go around here on the outside and you can see there it is rather noisy but this is an installation from 1995 so this is the only way to basically you know what they had to do to fit the 75,000 BTUs so it's three things you know the water heater horizontal exhaust kit makeup air kit and then with all those three together this job passes inspection you can see in 1996 there is the date and uh, then you get enough heat and it'll work in a confined space we got tanklets installed this is a top floor unit and it's into piping basically change out everything got a new mixing valve this allows the tankless can run at 140 but it'll mix in some cold and then just supply 120 or actually 115 uh, to the faucet so that way you don't have scolding problems uh, new valves also a check valve which is really important for the heater you see all the piping all well, everything's nice and neat. Gas line. Go to, we got a new regulator here. You see it frees up a lot of room in the closet. Got a new pan down there. The pan ties in. Also on the top, I got a splash guard over the tankless. And then outside, Right there, you can barely hear it running. You see it's pretty cold outside right now. That's how you do it at the Coverly. Thanks for watching.